Coming in tonight with details of the second school district to have to go to lockout in as many days. According to Portland Police Chief Mark Corey, Gregory Portland High School and all other GPISD campuses and facilities went into a lockout this morning following reports of a student on campus with a firearm. Now, Chief Corey says that Portland PD, along with multiple other agencies, responded to the scene to start evacuating students from the high school. Our Alexis Green joins us here in the studio now with a closer look and how today's events unfolded. Alexis. Thanks, Mike and Leslie. With the campus blocked off and the community urged to keep their distance, parents who I spoke with were waiting in nearby parking lots for updates. Some telling me how unsettling it is to have two similar events take place like this in our schools. Yesterday and today, I don't I don't know what's wrong with these kids. Like, I don't, I don't get it. According to Portland Police Chief Mark Corey, today's incident in Portland did not end in anyone getting hurt, and a firearm was never found on the GP campus. But once the threat was called in, law enforcement in the district took all necessary precautions to keep their students and staff safe. Uh, you know, this is something that we take very seriously, uh, especially uh, in regards to what happened in Aransas Pass uh, yesterday. Chief Corey says law enforcement's main objective is to keep not only citizens safe, but students as well. And one of the biggest concerns for all police departments is to have an active shooter situation at one of their campuses. I can tell you just offhand, I can think of seven agencies that responded when we put the call out. Everybody from uh, uh, city to county and several federal agencies responded with us. So I would estimate that there was 65 to 75 officers that responded to this one call. Parents who anxiously waited sent texts to their children to make sure they were doing okay. Tonight, they are thankful for the massive response of law enforcement and communication from the school. We have a school resource officer here on campus, and we had additional officers here within less than a minute. I, got, I want to stress that there was never a firearm, uh, even when we reviewed the video cameras uh, and saw this individual on campus, we never saw a firearm displayed. Leslie, Mike, the suspect in today's incident was taken into custody. The investigation is still ongoing. It is unclear tonight if he is facing any charges. Chief Corey adds that threats made to any campus are taken very seriously. Anyone caught in connection with a school threat could face felony charges.